and thank you for joining me, the pie princess, and I'm a pie shell for your pies. So I've got all the ingredients here, and I just use Crisco, salt, and you can use 7-Up, but I just use carbonated bottled water and a flour, and that's, that's all you need. And you make the most wonderful pie shell, and I call it the, my magic pie shell, actually. <laughs> it creates magic. So. Um, to make one, I usually just make a batch and that'll be enough for three pies. Yeah. Making a pie. So anyway, you do um, two cups of shortening. And I have tried other types of cheaper type of shortening and they don't really work out very well. So um, Crisco is my kind of my shortening at the moment, unless I found something else that worked really well. So what you just do is you you have enough for two cups of shortening. And just put them in your big bowl. Scrape them off. Okay. okay, there we go. Now, um, what I do is for salt, you need about one teaspoon, but I just kind of, you know, I'm one of these bakers that just, okay, that's enough. And then I have, um, then I add, five cups of flour to scrape out the bowl so I get all the excess out of here. Not that I'm going to use it again. And then for mixers, I just like to use the old, my old grandma's um, pastry cutter. So if you can get yourself a good pastry cutter, that's the secret, another secret to making this pastry. So as you can see, I'm just slicing up the shortening with the flour and I just slice it all up until it comes to like a, a pea size. I don't want it too fine because I find that the crust is tough. So I just like blend it all together on the size of your pie plate that you like to use. I normally use a 10 inch but I do have some nine inches that I use. And sometimes I just throw them into the little foil uh, pot size so that I am, when I, so it's getting pretty close to where I like to have it. And you can just see here, it's very fine. blended. Okay, and then I add water. Now I use carbonated water. I'm, I'm not a, but you can use pop. You cannot use diet pop or diet, uh, anything diet because it won't work. But you need to have, and then you just throw it in the thing. And I don't use a whole bottle when I'm making a batch, maybe half. And then I just blend all the water. It's blended very nicely here. And sometimes I talk to it to say how lovely it is how much I love it. And then I'm ready to roll out. So that's really how I make a pastry and it's really quite easy. And this is the easiest recipe I've ever found. I've tried lots of them, believe me. I've tried hot water and all kinds of stuff. But this is the one I like the best. And then I only use about, when I'm gonna roll it out, I only use about a quarter cup of flour total when I'm rolling it out. So let me just show you how nicely it looks. It's a little dry, but that's good. And then I just have it like this, and I just knead it until I can get to the point where it's a little ball. Yeah, you don't want it done too much. And make sure you flour your dough again and your rolling pin, or whatever you're gonna use, pastry. There you go. You can see how nice and soft it is. If it's tough, that means you either it's soft. And you just roll it out. There you go. So, how easy it is, so how nice, and it folds really nice, easy to flip. There, we're done until Next time. My name is Mary Lynn Harris, the Pie Princess. And if you'd like to watch this video, please come and join me at thepieprincess.com.